Welcome back. Well, it's the end of the year, and oftentimes we take that as a time to reflect. And as we look back at the thousands of stories we've covered in 2012, several stand out. That's right, and we're counting down the top five local stories that impacted our communities here in the Twin Tiers. Let's take a look. We start our countdown with one of the most unusual murders to come out of the Twin Tiers, the shooting death of Daniel Bennett in Schuyler County on April 19th. The mother of Bennett's child, 40-year-old Alice Trapler, is accused of conspiring with her ex-husband Thomas Borden and Borden's stepbrother, 25-year-old Nathan Han, to kill Bennett over a custody dispute. After the murder, Borden killed himself by jumping in front of a train in the Philadelphia area while running from police. Hand pleaded guilty to manslaughter and agreed to cooperate with the prosecution in Alice Trapler's trial scheduled for 2013. Number four, a home explosion in Corning levels a house and rocks an entire neighborhood. On the morning of August 3rd, 86-year-old Robert Young and his grandson, 38-year-old Paul Young, were changing a hot water heater at 48 Wilson Street when an undetected natural gas leak ignited, blowing up the home and burying the two men under the rubble. Both men were injured and severely burned. The explosion sent debris flying for blocks and damaged several neighboring homes. Number three, the shocking announcement that Sikorsky would close its military completion center, laying off nearly 600 people. The company cited a weak economy and declining defense budgets as reasons behind the closure. Sikorsky must pay back its $24 million loan and pay property taxes for the next 10 years. Number two, the ongoing saga over the financial state and ownership of First Arena in Elmira. Chemung County foreclosed on the arena in February and introduced a new buyer in July. Then in August, days before the deal was closed, the former operators of the arena, Elmira Downtown Arena LLC, filed for bankruptcy protection. The fight between the new owner and former operator continues to be played out in bankruptcy court. Meanwhile, the future for the Elmira Jackals hockey team remains uncertain beyond this season. And the number one local news story of the year, the July tornadoes that plowed through Elmira and the Twin Tiers. On July 26, an EF-1 tornado touched down in Elmira and traveled for 10 miles, ripping up trees, downing power lines, and knocking out power to tens of thousands of customers. EF-1 tornadoes also touched down that same day in Lindley and South Corning in Steuben County. Elmira city leaders say the tornado cost the city a half million dollars. And an honorable mention, actually some good news, Guthrie broke ground on two new hospitals in the Twin Tiers, one in Corning, the other in Troy.